Did you know you can now import 3D animated characters into After Effects? I'm gonna show you a free tool that's gonna make this very, very easy to do and I'll show you how to create more complex animations and characters using Blender. Let's get started. Here I am at character.productioncrate.com. This is a new modular character creation tool. It's very easy to use. First, choose your base. We have a couple options here, but I know we're gonna be adding more options in the future. I really like the look of this skeleton, so I'm gonna select that and I can choose some helmets, I could choose some armor, I could choose some various add-ons. I think for now though, I just wanna go with a plain old skeleton. Up here where you see the animation tab, you can toggle down and select from some preloaded animations, but even cooler, you can upload Mixamo animations directly, so that's what I want to do. To get this tool to work in Mixamo, go down to your downloads, and you'll see that LOD 0 and LOD 1 I cannot download because I'm not logged in with a pro subscription. If I needed a higher resolution, I could sign up for a pro account, but LOD 2 is a nice quality and will get the job done in most situations and for basically all of these outfits and character selection options, LOD2 is completely free. For now, I want to create my Mixamo animation. To do that, I'm just going to select this advanced tab and then download the LOD0 mannequin. And once that has finished downloading, I'm gonna make my way over to Mixamo. Here I am at Mixamo.com and all I'm gonna do is drag my mannequin that I downloaded for free onto my upload character option. And this will let me preview my skeleton with the animations and let me make any adjustments on Mixamo, like the arm distance, like the pacing, anything else. This is also gonna do some retargeting from A pose to T pose, so I don't end up with any hunched looks. And here we can see our awesome animated skeleton. I'll hit next and let's find some nice dancing animations. Let's go with this hip hop dancing skeleton, a classic. I'll download this animation and I'll select without skin and hit download. And while we're here, let's download some other dancing animations. I like the classic running man skeleton. There we go. I'll download that. And let's download this Maraschino step <laughs> as one happy skeleton. Back at character.productioncrate.com, I can select upload FBX and find my animations I downloaded from Mixamo or even easier, I can just drag and drop one of those animated FBXs. And once it's done loading, there we see our fully textured animated dancing skeleton. And let's do it with the running man animation. The character tool is gonna save your animation. So if you just toggle down, you could switch between your uploaded FBXs. From here, I just wanna download the GLB. GLBs work perfectly in After Effects. When we end up moving on to the Blender part of this tutorial, I'll actually be downloading the .blend file, but for now, I'm just gonna download the GLB in the free LOD2 or level of detail to a resolution. You can see this is only three megabytes. This is a super compact and efficient file. Here I am in After Effects. I'm just gonna make a new composition. Let's make it 1920 by 1080. 30 frames per second looks good. I'll call it Skeleton Dance. Then I'm just gonna drag and drop my skeleton dancing animation. I'll select Make Comp Size and OK. And then I could just position my skeleton in the center of the frame. I'll change it to full resolution. Let's create a new plane. This will be our shadow catcher and I'll flip it 90 degrees on the X rotation and just move it to my skeleton's feet. Then I can go ahead and go to layer, new light and select the environment light and hit okay. And for my black solid, I'll rename this floor. And then for my floor, I'll toggle down the material options, find where it says accepts shadow and instead of on, I want to change this to only. And that makes it a shadow catcher. If I zoom in here, we can see our shadows being cut off a little bit. So let's just increase the scale of our floor and I'll just create a new background real quick. And then I could just rotate my environment light around till I get the lighting I like. Now, if I hit play, we'll see, unfortunately our skeleton is not dancing. That's okay, let's find our skeleton GLB, toggle that arrow down and find the animation options. Let's toggle that arrow down and here where it says name, we can select our dancing animation. Now, if you don't see this option, just hit F4 and F4 will reveal that dropdown. Also make sure you are in After Effects 2025 or a newer version. 
So once I select that dancing animation, then if I hit play, we'll see our skeleton dancing. Now this is a looping animation and it is in After Effects, which means we can use After Effects expressions. So I'm gonna right click on this, go to time, enable time remapping. That gives me a keyframe at the beginning and at the end of my animation. Then I can all click on that stopwatch and I'll just type the very basic expression loop out, which means my skeleton can now dance forever, way past that point of that last keyframe. It really is that easy to create animated characters inside of After Effects. But if you wanna go further, I'll show you how. So one issue I would have is if I wanted multiple animations, it would be pretty difficult to combine them. I can't really do this inside of After Effects. I would have to download and import each of those animated FBXs, which maybe it's not the most time consuming, but if you have a big project, it'd be much nicer to be able to just use this one file and select multiple animations. I'm going to show you how you can do that very easily using Blender. Back at character.productioncrate.com, and we'll put a link to this website as well as all the links mentioned in this video in the description below, I want to download my blend file. So instead of the FBX or GLB, I'll select the Blender option. And again, this is with a free account, but if you have a pro account and you want higher resolutions, you can download the LOD0 or the LOD1. But for now, I'll just use the free LOD2 blend file. I'll select that. And then I'll select my other dancing animation, this dancing running man. It's a great animation. And I'll download the LOD2 of that. Now let's jump into Blender. Here I am in Blender. The first thing I want to do is select all this stuff, hit X to delete it, go to File, Append, and I want to locate my dot blend files of my skeleton warrior dance animations. Once you find that animation, double click on it and you'll see where it says object. Double click on that object folder and select everything in that folder and then click append. Now if I hit spacebar, we'll see our skeleton is dancing. And if I go to the shading tab, we'll see that it is fully textured. I'll do the same with the other animation. So I'll go to file, append and locate my other dancing animation. Double click on it, find the object folder, double click on that and select everything within the object folder and then click append. And now we have our two animations inside of Blender. From here, I'll go to my animation tab just cause I like this layout. And let's give ourselves a little more room down here. And I wanna select this bottom left button here for the edit type. And I want to change it from the dope sheet to the non-linear animation. Then I want to toggle over these two buttons here. These are the push down buttons and I want to select both of them. Now what I want to do is basically combine these animations onto one skeleton. I have two animated skeletons here, but I only want one skeleton and two animations. I'll use my top skeleton. And as a matter of fact, just to keep it clean, I'll rename it main skeleton. This one already has the dancing Marashino applied and I want to apply the dancing running man animation to it. I'll select this little gingerbread looking icon next to it and then go over here, drop down and select the dancing running man. And now I've applied the keyframes to this main skeleton and I'll do the same thing I did before and just select this push down button. And that's basically it. Now I just want to delete my other skeleton. So I'll come up here where my scene collection is, right click, go to delete hierarchy. And now we only have our one skeleton. And you can see I could toggle between these animations. Then I can go to file export GLTF. Make sure that the animation checkbox is checked. For data and material, I usually like to bump the image quality from 75 up to 100%. And that's basically it. I could just name my file dancing skeleton and export that GLTF. Now let's navigate our way back to After Effects. Here I am back in After Effects and I have my original skeleton and I'm just going to leave that here, but I am going to import our new skeleton animation and drag and drop that onto our composition. Select the make comp size, hit OK. And I'll just copy the position information from this first skeleton over to our new skeleton and then move our new skeleton over to the right. Now let's drop down our new skeleton. And if we go to animation options, we should see that we have two animations saved here now. So I'll select the dancing running man animation. And now we have our two animated dancing skeletons. They're going to America's Got Talent, so stay tuned. The cool thing is you really can add an unlimited number of animations to one character. So I only did two in this case, 
but you can add as many as you want and have that compacted into one single GLB file, which will be so much more efficient than just having a bunch of different GLBs for each animation. Now, if you want to do hard surface animations like helicopters or cars or weapons, anything like that, it's actually a different process. If you want a tutorial for how to do animated hard surface GLBs from Blender to After Effects, let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure to make that video. I want to give this some more music video vibes while we're here, so I'll create a new adjustment layer and apply the Crates Hyper Glitch plugin right onto that adjustment layer. And let's create a new 3D camera. I'll hit the P for position, right click, go to separate dimensions, separate dimensions. And I wanna just animate this Z position. So I'll, I'll click on it. I'll just type wiggle one and let's do 1500 and see what that looks like. And now we got a crazy animated skeleton dancing music video for some reason. Obviously you can have a lot of fun with characters inside of After Effects and you can have a very efficient workflow if you use Blender to combine multiple animations into one GLB. If you want to check out Crate's Hyper Glitch, I'll link it in the description below. We have a ton of After Effects and Premiere plugins that we are releasing. These are powerful, beautiful, gorgeous and beyond cool plugins I encourage you to check out. That's it for today. Later, creators.